Well, as we've heard, they're back on the streets. They're filling up during our programme and beyond into uh, life at one o'clock when we'll bring you the full picture that we get this morning with Mark. Uh, they want the resignation of the executive, Carrie Lam. It's a, day, a different picture to the one China would have their citizens believe. Carrie Allen is China analyst for BBC Monitoring. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, what do the Chinese papers say about this? Absolutely nothing. Um, when it comes to the protests, um, China will never show any images whatsoever of protests taking place. So this morning, for example, when I've been opening Twitter, I've seen pictures coming in from independent media in Hong Kong, from overseas, um, our correspondents on the ground, showing this sea of black people in areas like Victoria Park and Wan Chai. Um, I mean, right now, subway stations are being suspended uh, because there's just so many people in the, uh, in the areas. And it's very much what we saw last week uh, when more than a million people in Hong Kong took to the streets. Um, there's, there's just more and more people coming out, but the government is so nervous about showing any of this. I mean, even if it was, say, 10 people, uh, not a million people, the government doesn't like, the communist government doesn't like to show any dissent or, or suggestion that the communist party is, is wrong in any way or is, uh, is, is, is basically, yeah, it doesn't like to show protests full stop so um, so the word hong kong is is censored in mainland china and yeah the protests people wouldn't know they're taking place so um you're looking at the same uh, scenes as i am the microphone is down on one street uh, and we are seeing the street completely packed from side to side and then as far as the eye can see uh, the picture goes back by um, 400 yards, filled with people. Let's just listen to what this is live now. And perhaps you can tell me, Kerry, uh, how you would judge this uh, um, demonstration to be compared to last week's. It Probably about the same scale. It may even get bigger. Um, I mean, last week it was, um, it, was, it was a big surprise because this was a... Last week's protest was bigger than than any protest that's taken place um, in the last 20 years, really. Um, I mean, even the protests in 2014, um, when there were suggestions that the uh, the chief executive role, um, that there will be changes to the way that um, people could vote for the chief executive, um, that the scale of the protests are absolutely huge. And people, people are aware that Carrie Lam saying that she's going to suspend the bill. This was quite surprising uh, because she's she's gained a reputation for basically saying I will not back down. Um, so uh, so for her to do that, um, that was quite a surprise. Chinese, the Chinese government did respond to the the bill being suspended and said that they were they thought it was critical. Um, they they didn't think it was a good idea to suspend the bill whatsoever. But people in Hong Kong are aware that. Suspending it doesn't mean cancelling it, mm. and that's why people are still protesting today, because th they see this as a method of trying to get people off the streets and protesting, but th there needs to be further action. That's why activists are still out there saying, no, this is not good enough, basically. Carrie Allen, China analyst for BBC Monitoring, thank you very much indeed, uh, telling us that Hong Kong, those uh, sentences are now censored on social media in China.